introduce yourself. Eloise McDaniel. Eloise McDaniel, the nice yellow jacket. I want to say Eloise, the, uh, the rabble rouser, the dead fly, the pain in the administration, right? Since uh, here, and also I guess the homeowner, taxpayer, and a uh, person who really cares about Irvington. Yes, That's I really do. I've been living here a long time. I wanted to ask you about Harold Wiener. You know, Harold Wiener just passed away. Yes. And I wanted to ask you, come on, write a story about Harold Wiener. I thought Harold Wiener was was a good dude who did his job and didn't let politics get in the way of him doing his job and was not afraid to do his job based on the politics that people were going to get on his case about doing his job. And so you as somebody who dealt with Harold on many occasions, and I, and I said he, he did what he needed to do, he did his job. I mean, anything you want to say about Harold Weiner and, and the loss of a Harold Weiner? I mean, what does that mean when you I, got a public servant who's not, who's not like that anymore? I thought Harold was a very... Uh, He's a very smart person. He was a very good person. And he and I worked together uh, very well. I remember when um, the uh, news came out on uh, uh, in the media, NBC, mm -hmm. about filing the complaint against me when the mayor filed the complaint against me. He said that uh, Harold did it. And this was on TV. Harold said, I did not do that. I have never filed a complaint against Miss McDaniel. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this is out here, you know, that uh, and that is what happened. And that's why I, I like Harold. I appreciated Harold because he stood up for the right thing. And he didn't get into that with... Um, uh, them trying to trick him into uh, doing something that was not right. And also, you say trick, I would say, you know, I'm not going to say bully, but, you know, try to force him, you know, uh, do That's this, do right. this. And he was going, no, I'm not going to do and, that. And he would not do it. And he always, he was very good. In, and when the mayor said that I asked uh, for too many open public records, um, Harold said, well, yeah, she asked for open public records, but that's our job. We are supposed to give her, uh, uh, you know, open public records. And I was not the only one who asked for public records. And of course, Harold said on TV, he says, Miss McDaniel and I get along very well. I mean, and you know, like I said, like I said, you care about the town and you're always doing stuff for the town and for the taxpayers and for the people and the residents. And then you get flack for it. But, you know, to get a voice of conference from somebody who was to say, she's not doing nothing wrong. I mean, did that mean something to you? It means a lot to me. And uh, when that report came out from the controller's office, I uh, felt that I was vindicated because this is what I've been trying to do and tell the people and uh, bring this um, uh, financial problem to their attention for a long time. And we say a long time, we mean years. Years. I can say at least 10 that I know of. Yes, years. And finally, finally, uh -huh, this is uh, what happened. Mm -hmm. And so, like I said, you know, Harold was a master clerk. You know, he was the high at the top of his profession. He was sort of recognized by the state as a master clerk, knew what he yes. was doing. I would personally say I've known him. I read Harold in the top three clerks, municipal clerks I've ever dealt with in my career as a journalist, right? And I Harold agree. was one of the best. I agree. And he was one of the best. So, I mean... Uh, I agree that he is. He was one of the best. Uh -huh. I'm ready to get out of here now. I'm going home for a good dog. All right. Thank you very much.